Sony says it secured enough components to hit the 22 million PlayStation 5 sales goal. All right, this is a big deal because they've been trotting this number for a while and looks like now there's actually going to be some truth to it. Uh, speaking during a web call on Thursday, which was transcribed by uh, Video Games Chronicle. By the way, this article, is, uh, the source of this article is Andy Robinson at Video Game Chronicles, Video Games Chronicle dot com. Uh, <clears throat> Chief Financial Officer Hiroki Totoki. I like how that just rhymes. Or I might be, or I mm. might have been mispronouncing. It might have been Tataki. Well, who knows. <laughs> Uh, but the CFO of Sony claimed that Sony has secured enough semiconductors, which had been having a major supply uh, shortage during the pandemic. Uh, they have secured enough to achieve its fiscal target of selling a fiscal year target of selling 14.8 million PS5 units. Wow! In a statement, mm -hmm. he's in a statement he said. For PlayStation 5, the target has been set for the number of units to be sold this year, and we have secured the number of chips that are necessary to achieve that. Regarding the supply of semiconductors, we are not concerned. Wow, I just love how bold he was when he said that. We are not concerned. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's, yeah. that's bold. Currently, the PlayStation 5 console remains hard to find nine months after its launch since last November, uh, with each new batch of systems selling out almost instantly. Uh, good news, though, like, it's not always going to the scalpers now. Like, it's actual legit people that are just, like, yeah. really jumping on them. But, you know, sometimes it's just, like, a really, a really small demand per, per retail outlet that you go to. Uh, well, not, I'm sorry, not small demand, but small, small quantity. So just, just keep, just stick with it. Just stick with it. You'll get your PlayStation. It's it's coming. Uh, <clears throat> while it is unlikely that Sony's news will change uh, anything in the short term, the hope is that by securing these semiconductors, it'll eventually be able to provide enough supply to meet the overall demand. Sony has said it hopes PS5 shipments in its fiscal year 2021, which runs from April 2021 to March 2022, will surpass the 14.8 million PS4s that ship during the same stage of the console life cycle in Sony's fiscal year 2014. Remember, we've said a couple we said a few weeks back on on Crossroads that um that the PS5 is currently Sony's fastest selling console to date. So, that's amazing. Um yes, we can we can give some of this credit to the scalpers and stuff like that, but but user data is showing that Legitimate people are actually getting the systems. They're not just in someone's basement somewhere. <clears throat> All right. With that news, though, this will bring the overall total PS5 sales to 22.6 million units if it hits by March 20th, 22. T March 2022. My bad. Uh, the company recently claimed that PlayStation 5 has become Sony's fastest selling console after topping 10 million sales globally. And remember, like right now, I I think it's finally a, available in, in in Egypt and a couple of uh, the other uh, the other Arabic nations uh, where the price tag for PlayStation is like what was it like eight hundred dollars MSRP? I... <laughs> I can't remember. We talked about that I so long ago. We, <laughs> we talked about that so long ago. It's it's crazy, um, <clears throat> but. Last piece of news here, the console hit the milestone on July the 18th, which was about eight months after its launch on November the 12th, 2020. All right, guys, I have a question for you. With everything we're currently seeing from Sony, how helpful does it actually look that they might make this 2022 goal of, of over 26 million, uh, 22 million units, I'm sorry, 22 million units? What do you guys say? Uh, well, since the scalpers are not getting it, I think they have a good chance at this point it's just what so what changed right like how how did it go from having such a difficult time to finding silicon semiconductors finding engineers to process them and then all of a sudden they have enough to sell 22 million units well, right? uh, like I, I think that'll be over a steady stream of time though right yeah i think that's i think that's what they're saying i i think I think a lot of manufacturing firms for how they're getting the chips and stuff are actually starting to get back up to normal levels of production. Now, that being said, of course, like we've got the Delta variant of COVID happening. So that's going to, sh that's probably going to shut down some stuff, stunt, stunt a few things and things like that. 
but I think I think what they should have said because because Stephanie is right. I think what they should have said is we are now able to produce the uh, the number of components that we will need to make the stretch goal by March of next year. For that, I think I think that would have done them a little bit a little bit more credit. Good catch, you, both you guys, for asking that question because um because it does it does we need to examine common sense on this stuff sometimes, you know, like if they're sitting on, if they're sitting on the, enough components to hit 22 million right now, then why aren't they selling them? <laughs> well, yeah. You yeah. Know, they, and the thing is point. too, good it's point. like, it's, it's not only like PlayStation Xbox. Like, I mean, you go to a home Depot and the buzz saw that they use to cut wood takes us, takes a silicone semiconductor so exactly like, it's not just the gaming world that is looking for these and it's on backlog everywhere so yep. i'm a little skeptical however i'm just gonna change skeptical to hopeful <laughs> because i really want a playstation 5 and i do not want to sit online for five hours trying to get it clicking refresh um <laughs> well <laughs> like, well well aren't you and i was like i'm thinking about myself like yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. well aren't like, you yeah, well do it. <laughs> Well, aren't you glad it's you're just? Child... <laughs> I was gonna say, well, aren't you glad you're only waiting for a PlayStation Five? Because I know some people who've been waiting on F one fifties and F two fifties from Ford, <laughs> yeah. oh, and they're and they're having the hardest time. And these people have already paid for their cars. <laughs> it's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like the semiconductor yeah, I... shortage hurt everybody. I'll say that. Go ahead, Stephanie. Yeah, I. Oh, no, I was just like, you know, I think it's the semantics, the wording. I just, you know, wish that they yeah. were a bit more careful with that because as I'm no, I know you guys talked about it in many episodes that gamers can be quite a uh, passionate is a more positive word, <laughs> but also just, I don't know, their expect like it's a very volatile fan base, you know, True. gamers that when they when they read the headline, they're like, OK, perfect. Maybe by next week, um, GameStop, um, Best Buy and Target will all have it. I see it as Sony probably, you know, worked a deal or spoke with these manufacturers and they kind of like signed some sort of like delivery promise, like, you know, by March of next year, we'll be able to have a certain amount made and reserved for you guys. So I think that numbers wise, it is possible they'll reach that goal, especially since it's fiscal year, not calendar year. So they still have a ways to go. Um, like I said, I feel like it's going to be over a very slow, you know, um, steady stream of time. Um, but I just am afraid that, you know, fans will get super hyped and then they might trash talk Sony, you know, say they can't get it for Christmas, you know, so. Oh, which, which, which is apt to happen anyway. I get, I guarantee you there could be a surplus of PlayStation sitting on the shelf and someone's going to be pissed that they can't find one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be like, they're going to be like, Christmas is ruined. I I don't, I didn't get a PlayStation five this year and Best Buy is going to be like, we got 20 of them sitting on our shelves. Where are you at? <laughs> But but the thing the, the thing is like it's it's great to hear that they have confidence in the fact that they can get a hold of the semiconductors like that. So if they didn't have that confidence, I don't think they would have said it. So very yeah. true. Let's you know, let's hope for let's hope for some uh, playstations and some normalcy. You know, I suck I suck in sales, but but the one thing that I've learned from a lot of people who apparently are great in sales or like super successful in sales is that is that, you know, you have to have the belief that you're going to do it. <laughs> if you wake up today and say you're going to make like a hundred thousand dollars for the company by the end of the month, you know, and and that's your and that's what you feel in your head. You're probably going to get pretty damn close to it, as opposed to saying, "I don't think I'm going to get it today," and you, and you know, you just don't try and stuff like that. So you know, like this never say die attitude that you know that Sony's had. You know, actually, they've had this never say die attitude since the June last year when they announced the PlayStation Five. It's crazy. They're just like, they're just like, no, like, like we're we're doing this. Like, don't don't discount us. You know, we're doing this. <laughs> I, I've been in sales for twelve years, and you're right. You can't you can't sell something you don't believe in. It just sure. doesn't work. Yeah. So you know, hey, if Sony, hey, if Sony wants to be their own hype man, I'm I'm not I'm not going to knock them for doing it. <laughs> yeah, and they have every right to to hype their own products because the PS5. Granted, I don't own one, but just be the, being the fastest selling console for them and their slow but steady, you know powerful releases that they have i just feel like they have every right to be for sure yeah yeah true true i mean they're not they're not king of the hill this right now in this um and 
I'm, I was gonna say console war. This is not a console war, but you, <laughs> you, you know. know what I, you know what right. I mean though. They're, they're, they're yeah. not, they're not, they're not the king of the hill right now as far as like what's going on with this generation and stuff like that. But I mean, they're, they come out, they came out the gate swinging. So you know, hey, like anything can happen. <laughs> I kind of feel like the first. Hmm? Sorry, Nelly. No, I was just saying, set the goal high. Huh? Why not? Manifest, as they call it, nowadays. <laughs>